and we finally get the location of Rafcon. We now know the location of Rafcon. And do you want to know where it is? It's. So I really thought we were done with these international spoilers after, what, Beast Morphers? When it aired in France? But apparently not. Because now we have international spoilers from Mexico. Power Rangers Dino Fury episode 12 and 13 aired internationally on Saturday in Mexico and will continue airing the rest of the week. So let's get into the spoilers for episode 12 and 13 of Power Rangers Dino Fury. Episode 12 is titled Ultimate Mystery and it opens up with Amelia and two interns at Area 62 where they interviewed Pop Pop and talked about his time at Area 62 where he was a janitor. After the interview with some goofiness involved, of course it's Power Rangers, one of the interns shows Amelia a clip of a Bigfoot. So they take this information back to Jane at Buzz Blast, and she's like, no, continue to do the Area 62 story. We're not doing the Bigfoot story. But then Amelia tells the interns, nah, it's okay to break the rules. It's okay to not listen. Just do what I say and go find me this Bigfoot. During this, Amelia is called away from Buzz Blast to the command center, where the Rangers receive a message from Commander Shaw from Grid Battle Force. She tells the Rangers that there's been a leak, an escape of multiple different monsters. And then we see a clip of the Beast Morphers Rangers battling a monster. And she says, there's a monster headed towards the Dino Fury Rangers. Of course, the Pink Ranger says, maybe we have a little bit of time. Of course not, because that's when the alarm goes off, because there's a monster in the park. The Rangers teleport there and end up fighting the monster. And then they revealed that he's not a Sporex Beast. No. He is the nephew of Lokar. Remember the big floating head from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Yeah, his nephew. The Rangers get their butts handed to him, and he ends up teleporting away, and then they teleport back to the base. Then it cuts to the interns at Dino Hinge. But who else shows up but Lothor? He is trying to destroy the statues at Dino Hinge to break the Rangers' connection to the Morphing Grid. The Rangers get a distress call from right underneath, and they end up teleporting there and fighting him. But first, they gotta get the interns away, right? While fighting him, they end up teleporting him to the city, which I don't get. Why do that? Why teleport to the city? I get you had to teleport somewhere, but why to the city? We get a little bit more fighting between the Rangers and Lothorn, and that's when they call the Megazord. He grows giant. He takes his little beam out of his uh his pocket. He's like, I'm going to grow big. The Rangers call the Ultrazord, and they end up hitting him into space, and he says a line. He's like, oh, I can see Angel Grove from here, which is a pretty cool, uh, you know, little Easter egg. But they end up defeating Lothorn, and that's when we get a cut back to Buzz Blast, where it's Pop Pop in Jane making the ultimate blueberry pie. Jay Borg mentioned that the big berries could be due to radioactivity and that's when Pop Pop freaks out and you know some goofiness involved. And... But then the interns are talking to Amelia where she apologizes says she put them in harm's way and how she never meant for them to do that and how they need to listen to what they're told and how Amelia was wrong. The Rangers come over to Amelia at her desk where she, they talk about why she's so interested in all these cases, all her little files. That's when she shows them the one of her mom and dad. She said Pop Pop doesn't like to talk about it and how they were lost in a fire, but she wants to find her parents. This is really the first time we've gotten anything like this about her parents, so I'm interested to see where this goes. They had a touching moment where they gave, had a group hug and everything and cool, and then they're called back to the base by Solon because Commander Shaw wants to talk to them. Commander Shaw thanks them and says that every escaped monster has been captured except for one. And that one is Scrozzle. She then shows them the video of Lord Zed breaking into Grid Battle Force. We can assume this is where he gets his staff. And she says he is the mastermind behind the breakouts. The Rangers discuss the events that just took place. And they want to know what Lord Zed's ultimate plan is. And that is where episode 12 ends which leads into episode 13. Episode 13 is titled Love or Hate, and we open up in Buzz Blast, where a guy is playing a game trying to get chocolate, Valentine's, heart-shaped chocolate, to his lady. He fails, of course, and she rejects him, but that's when Ollie walks in with daisies and a card. Ollie is then approached by Izzy, and she's asking who the daisies are for, and him not knowing what to say, he says for some girl at a cafe, and Amelia was behind him, and she was not happy. It's not that she wasn't happy, she was more hurt. And she tells Ollie, well, you know, daisies are just weeds and tries to make a joke. And Ollie gets all mad and throws them away and he goes to throw the card away that he got for her, but that ends up falling on the ground. And that's important later. We then cut to Area 62, where the monsters are freaking out, going to Void King and Queen, saying they have an intruder, where they have a guest. They ask who, 
and it is none other than the Emperor of Evil, Lord Zed, along with his new general, Scizori and Scrozzle. Zed tells them that he needs their help with the Rangers, and Scrozzle says he will rebuild Boom Tower. From that, we cut to the base where Amelia is trying to look up the cafe where this girl works. Zeta walks in and asks what she's doing. That's when she does the whole, oh, I'm a, uh, 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 try, I heard a new word in the message that they got about Rafcon. That's when Solon came in and they did the whole big discussion about it. And that's when Izzy shows up and she knows what's really going on, right? She knows. So she's like, let, let, let me take this. So she tries to talk to Amelia for a sec before Ollie teleports in. Amelia teleports away because she's still pissed. And that's when Ollie confesses to Izzy that, look, that was for Amelia. Like, all that stuff was for Amelia. And Izzy's like, I knew it. Ollie tells Izzy, like, hey, don't say anything to her. And she's like, I'm not, but you need to talk to her. That's when Ollie teleports away. Ollie goes to the park to try to figure out what to say to him. And he's starting to text her being all cool. Like, hey, Amelia, I think we need to talk. That's when he's attacked by Scizora. And he is infected by brainwashing venom or mind mind controlling venom we cut back to Bu buzz blast where jay borg has found the card from ollie to amelia and hands it to amelia amelia open it and it says and i quote dear amelia wishing you a happy valentine's day i hope you like daisies from ollie so you could see that that was the intention from the beginning she gets very excited and teleports back to the base Ollie's in the base downloading the messages from Rafcon. She says, hey, I found your card. Do you want to be my Valentine? And he says, no. He's, he's being brainwashed, so uh, he gets a pass. She's very upset and doesn't understand why he said that. She shows Solon the car, and Solon says how romantic it is. But Amelia still doesn't understand why Ollie's acting the way he is. The alarm goes off, and there's trouble in the industrial district at a warehouse. Amelia contacts the other rangers and tells, tells them to meet her there. Everyone shows up except for Ollie. They sneak in and they overhear Lord Zed, Scrozzle, Void King, and Scizori talking. Of course, I do have to mention somewhere in this episode that Lord Zed did mention he, want his, he wants his minions from the Crystal Dimension. More on that later because that one's a little weird. Lord Zed ends up seeing them and they're like, how did you see us? How did you know we were here? And that's when Ollie comes out. Ollie says he now serves his one true master, Lord Zed. Of course, there's a line in here that I really like that's going to be translated really well, and it's where Lord Zed calls the Power Rangers Power Ninnies. Now, if you remember from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, he used to say that a lot. So I'm really looking forward to that when this comes out in English. Boom Tower ends up showing up, and he's now named Boom Blaster. Zed and Scrawls will teleport away as they have more important things to do. The Rangers morph, and there's a fight scene where gold, Green and Black are fighting Blue, and Amelia and Zato are fighting Void King, Boom Blaster, and Scizorak. That's just a really unfair fight right there. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't think they really need all of them to take down the Blue Ranger, but they end up knocking him out and taking him back to base. We get more fighting between Void King, Scizorak, and Boom Blaster, and the Red and Pink Rangers. Void King ends up knocking the Red Ranger out of his super mode, which is really impressive. It just shows you how strong he is. Then Scizori ends up growing, and the Red Ranger calls his Zord. So now, it's Void King and Boom Blaster versus the Pink Ranger, and the Red Ranger and his Zord versus Scizori. Of course, they're getting, they're getting destroyed. Uh, the Pink Ranger uses a power-up and gets absolutely one-shotted by Void King. After he one-shots him, Boom Blaster says he has to go away as he, Lord Zed needs his help. Void King says he doesn't like this and teleports away as well, so that really saves Amelia there. So Amelia teleports in the cockpit of the Megazord and helps out Zato fight Scizori. It's a little bit of back and forth, and that's when the other Rangers show up. They end up doing a few attacks and then knocking down Scizori. He's not destroyed, though. He retreats. He grows smaller again and retreats. We cut back to Area 62 where Void Queen asks where Lord Zed is, and Void King says he's off planet, and Void Queen is pissed that they got used. Then we go back to the base, and Ollie is still asleep. The team mentions something about using water to wake him up, but Amelia stays next to him and confesses how she feels, and that's what wakes him up. Amelia and Ollie get interrupted when they're this close to kissing by the other rangers. Ollie tells the team that he remembers everything that happens while he was under the control of Lord Zed, and he knows their plan. On the flash drive he gave to Scrozzle with the two messages, 
Scrozzle uploads them and has a message of his own. He's able to combine all the messages and we finally get the location of Rafcon. We now know the location of Rafcon. And do you want to know where it is? It's two parsecs going past the Hive Quadrant in the intersection of the Onyx Nebula. So now we know where it's at. So now it's all on the episode Monday, right? What are we going to do with that information? Because that's realistically where the episode ends because Zato talks to Ion and he tells him, look, now we know where Rafcon is, but what does Lord Zed want with Rafcon? Find out next time on Power Rangers Dino Fury. When I feel like this, I'm immortal. When I feel like this, I'm immortal. When I feel like this, I'm immortal. When